All right, hello my friends, Erwin McKen here for Erwin McKen Online, and it's another great day for you to create the life, health, and business you deserve. And uh, my hopes is that you're experiencing a transformational day so that you can start uh, living powerfully. Today, I want to share with you um, five, five characteristics of all great leaders. Leaders people of influence, because that's what leaders are, who touch and shape uh, and touch and shaped the world. You know, we have leaders that uh, are still living today that are doing that. We have leaders that are no longer here on the planet that did that. And yet we still have, are waiting for future leaders who have not been born that will do that. That's not exciting. So truly, um, uh, you know, this is, this is awesome because uh, we all can can do something powerfully in this world and so you know I was thinking to myself uh, you know I was inspired and I thought what are the common um, traits and characteristics of, of great leaders uh, past present and future and uh, I came up with this I want to share it with you real quick number one first uh, great characteristic and trait of all um, great leaders is vision uh, they all had incredible vision, the ability to see things unseen, uh, to see the invisible, to see what others can't see. And uh, that vision is something that um, is, is common to all of those leaders. The ability to see a, a different world, to see um, maybe a technology uh, solve a big problem for the masses of the people, maybe a, a new way of thinking, maybe a... Uh, a, a change in the political environment of a country. Um, I'm sure when you think of people like Gandhi and Mother Teresa and, um, you know, so many great leaders, Martin Luther King and John F. Kennedy and, um, you know, Napoleon Bonaparte, Alexander the Great, uh, you know, there's so many leaders not just in the political realm and not just in um, one classification but right across the spectrum. They all have great vision and their ability to um, you know, see things that others can't see and go ahead and manifest them. I believe it was uh, Helen Keller that said, you know, um, what is pathetic is someone with eyes who have no vision. Someone who has eyes but no vision is pathetic. And uh, that's powerful when you understand Helen Keller, what a great leader she was. So vision is the first thing. Uh, second characteristic of all great leaders is mission cause to be able to take the vision they see and wrap it around and, and create a cause um, that not only they get sold out to but others can. They're able to to compel others through this cause and mission and so they're able to galvanize the uh, the commitments in the hearts of others. Uh, we're not just talking hundreds, we're talking thousands, tens of thousands, if not millions. Uh, we certainly have seen this in the last hundred years with the you know people like William Churchill and uh, and so many uh, amazing people Margaret Thatcher um, just just you know international leaders people who have stood for something they had a cause uh, maybe in your homeland maybe where you're from there are amazing leaders that have touched you as a result of their cause and their mission so that's the second one the third characteristic of all great leaders is their discipline. You know, it's it's wonderful to have that vision and then to be able to, in you know, p put it into a, a cause and a mission that moves people. But you have to be disciplined. You have to be, um, you have to be committed and sold out to be consistent and persistent with the initiatives. Every single day, every single month, every single year. You know, I, I believe it was Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela. Uh, what, a, what an amazing leader. He was imprisoned for a cause, for a belief, for a vision he had for over 20, over 25 years. I believe it was 27 years. Talk about the discipline to not give up. So many of us, you know, it rains on Monday at our whole week shot. Or someone says something to us we don't like. Or they tell us no. Or, you know, we've got a, a stomach cramp and we give up. The intestinal fortitude that all leaders possess is simply amazing and it's something that you can 
you can develop the discipline, the stickability, the persistence and consistency. I uh, remember another quote that the progressive uh, realization of a worth, worthwhile dream or goal is that pursuit, that pursuit of excellence, that discipline. The fourth character trait of a great leader is their, their, their love for people and the justice for which they're willing to fight. Their love for people and the justice that they're willing to fight for. Um, it was back in the 60s when you know times were different. It was the, uh, the real height of the civil, uh, civil rights movement. And, and here comes just an ordinary man named Martin who envisioned, who had a mission and a belief, who was disciplined and had a love for justice, a love for people and the justice that was required to reshape not only that day but make an indelible mark in, in history. Martin Luther King has undoubtedly gone down in the history books as one of the greatest leaders of all times. Today, what's your justice? What are you, what are you fighting for? How do you show your love for people? And then the fifth character trait is that they're great servers. Servers, people that are willing to look outside themselves and sacrifice uh, selflessly for their vision, the mission, and their cause. And today, I'm going to really challenge you to um, think about this, that if you want to be great, you want to be a great leader, that greatness is going to come because of how well you serve. And sometimes no one will see it. Sometimes it'll be uh, you know, overlooked. It might not be obvious. You might be serving quietly. You might be serving in your job. You might be serving in on the mission field. You might be serving in your church. Maybe you are uh, going to school. Maybe you are print. You know, you, you are now uh, working. Uh, you know, uh, being coached and mentored by uh, an, as as an apprentice. And and uh, no one sees the hard efforts. Maybe you're learning a new skill. Maybe you're learning how to I don't know play the piano. Whatever it might be, no one sees it. But you know what? You see it, you know it, and you can sleep good every night when you put your head on the pillow because you know what? You are developing all of these traits that are going to cause you to be that great leader. So if you're serving today, maybe you're good number two, maybe you're not yet running your own thing, but you've been faithful and you're a good steward and you're a server, I'm telling you, that's the path to greatness. So with that, I wanted to leave you with those five things. Number one, all great leaders, they have vision. They put that vision into a mission and a cause. Number three, they, uh, they, they, they have the discipline to stay steady and have that intestinal fortitude and stickability. Number four, they love people and have a cause for justice for people. And number five, they're great servers. And if you will start to, 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 to just harness and, and, and build these character traits, you're on your way to really not only changing your life, your world, but impacting generations. So with that said, Erwin McCann for Erwin McCann Online, saying again, visit me next time on the blog. We'll see you next video. And you commit to being great leader. Go and create that possibility for yourself, and we will see you in a transformed world. Bye for now.